Hello everybody and welcome back to a Games for Dads and another Cards the Universe and Everything Mythic deck. And what a cool card we are using today. The Flying Dutchman, one of the best mythics in the game still. Much better than that crazy mythic that came out today. Check it out, Chaos, the worst mythic ever. Anyhow, this is the Flying Dutchman. Let's check out this deck and have a look at what we've done around the Flying Dutchman. So if you don't know this card, like I said, it's an Oceans and Seas Mythic, six for 30. And what does it do? On the play, if you're losing the round, your cards in hand gain plus 48 this turn, which is absolutely amazing. And if you're winning the round, your Plundering Pirate cards, wherever they are, gain plus 36 for two turns. So I thought, why not? Let's build a awesome Plundering Pirates deck all around this card. Deck code EN02AC, if you want to copy this one. Good fun deck. Anyhow, let's have a look. First one up is quite a lot of legendaries in this deck, I'm afraid. Uh, is Blackbeard, 6 for 42. On the play, you're riding the waves and plundering pirate cards wherever they are. Gain plus 25 this round. So that's going to start buffing up our pirate cards. I've got Grace O'Malley. On the draw, you're plundering pirate cards wherever they are. Gain 30 for two turns. An opponent's random card in hand loses, loses minus 20 for two turns. 4 for 20, pretty cheap to play. That's Grace O'Malley. Nice card. Next one is Samuel Bellamy. There we go. On the return, you're plundering pirates and lost treasures cards wherever they are. Gain plus 26 this round. So you can see how these plundering pirate cards are going to get absolutely awesome as the game goes on. Thomas Chu is the next one. Another limited legendary. On the play, you're plundering pirates cards wherever they are. Gain plus 22 this round. Absolutely amazing. 6 for 61. Not too bad. And another limited legendary. Francois or Francois. Yeah, Francois Leclerc. There we go. Look at that little writing there. On the play, if played in the left slot, you're riding the wave cards wherever they are. Gain 18 until played. If played in the middle slot, you're lost treasure cards wherever they are. Gain 18 until played. And if played in the right slot, this is the one that interests us. Your plundering pirate cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played. These plundering pirate decks, by the way, are absolutely amazing if you play them in the right way. Next is Jolly Roger, the first epic card. Yep, first epic card, 6 for 55. On the draw, your plundering pirate cards in hand cost minus 2 until played. Pretty useful. That will keep our energy consumption down. A wielder. 8 for 25, another epic limited. On the draw, your cards in hand lose minus 25 this turn. Not the best, uh, but this card gains 150 this turn. So absolutely amazing. Basically, you're getting an extra 100 on top of the 25. So it's 8 for 125, plus all the buffs from the Plundering Pirates makes it a super card. Edward Lowe, another epic limited. Uh, on the return, if your deck has 14 or more Plundering Pirate cards, which we do, your Plundering Pirate cards, wherever they are, gain plus 16 until played. A really useful card. Love that one. And then we've got Calicio Jack, a rare limited card. On the return, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 3 power, and your history cards gain an extra plus 3 power until played. That's pretty handy. That's going to give all of our history cards an extra 6 power. Not energy, power, I should have said. And Bonnie, another cool card, another rare limited. On the play, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 8 this turn. And your Calicio Jack card in hand gains plus 35 this turn. So obviously we want to play Anne and Jack together if possible. That's only 35 points though, so it's not the end of the world. And then we've got Grog. What a cool card. Another epic limited. 6 for 100. Pretty powerful. But on the draw, the 100 points from this card get even or distributed evenly across the cards in your hand. So if you're good at maths, each of your cards in hand are going to get 20. And they keep it until played, which is absolutely cool. That's Grog. I love that picture, by the way. Fancy bit of Grog. Piers Gerloff's Donia. There we go. Epic limited. Uh, on the draw, your plundering pirate cards, wherever they are, cost minus one until played. Thank you very much. And on the play, if played next to two riding the wave cards, your common plundering pirate cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. Well, we do have one riding the wave card, which we'll look at later on, uh, but not two, unfortunately. So that's Pierre Gerloff's Donia. Henry Morgan. I think that's from Morgan's Gin, no? 
Is it Morgan's Gin? Rum. Morgan's Rum, of course. Uh, one for 10. On the play, your Grog card in hand gains plus 35 this turn. So that's going to buff up that Grog card if we've got it. But he will get all the buffs from all those plundering pirates. And Saida Alhura. On the play, if it's the last turn of a round, your Plundering Pirate cards in hand gain plus 25 this turn. Just the rare limited this one, 4 for 35. So it's important to play him on the last turn of the round. And then, uh, riding the Waves card that I told you about, uh, if you have played any Unruler's Rulers card this game, your Plundering Pirates cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played. So I've gone with an Unruly Ruler, and I have gone with... Zeng the, the Emperor, just for fun. Uh, your remaining cards in hand lock this round and gain plus 25 until played. The key with him when you're not playing an overlock deck is play him on the last turn of the round. Then your cards are going to overlock and you will get that extra 25 for each of your cards in your hand. And then I've included Identity Theft, really, just to give me a little bit of a power boost. On the play for every legendary card in your opponent's deck up to a maximum of 10, your cards in hand gain plus four until played. So there we go. That's our Mythic Dutchman. Oh, Flying Dutchman, I should say. Deck. Deck code ENO2AC. Let's take this in to the arena. We are rank one dragon. Five shields. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. And let's have a look to see how we can do with the Flying Dutchman. Like I said, if you've checked out that new Mythic card, I think it came out yesterday or this morning. Uh, absolutely terrible card, in my opinion. I haven't got it, haven't tried it, but it basically gives every one of your cards one extra power. Uh, something lighty. Okay, let's go. Something lighty. Good luck. Let's see what we can do here. So we've got all three pirates and we've got identity and Zengdi. So we'll keep Zengdi, obviously. And let's try and get these pirates. I need to read some of these. I don't know them off by heart. But let's try and get them into a good a wielder. Your cards in hand lose 25. Yeah, let's go with that one. Oh, we can only play two cards. We are low on energy. Oh, what a bonus for my identity there. Oh, and it looks like we are playing an arts and culture deck. This is going to be interesting. Nice lead already. 110. I didn't realize the energy was so tight. There we go. So there's that mythic card. We are winning, but it will boost our Pirates cards if we play it. Now, we only got 15. This is going to be a good test for this deck with the low energy. Let's see how we can do. And let's have a look. Six and six. We can do a four. Oh, not the best. Oh, let's go with that. Not the best start, really. One, three, six. Okay, Apple Tree Man, Renaissance, and Japanese Yen. Nice deck you've got there, something light, something light, nice, something light, I fancy something light, rather than the grog. <laughs> okay, so let's play Zengli at the last, that's going to buff the cards that we leave by 25, even though it will lock them up, I don't care about that, they will unlock straight away. Uh, Jolly Roger, let's go with that one, 3, 2, 9, we're only 26 behind, ooh, I didn't realise, that is good, I wasn't looking at the score, I thought we were well behind. I thought we were well behind. Oh, lock card cards, unlock them, and we get that extra 25. He's got a great deck here. Okay, this is his home arena. Something light. What can you do here? Uh, Blackbeard. Henry Morgan, maybe. He's shuffling his cards around a little bit. Uh, and Bonnie. Yeah, look, and, and, and Jack. That's good. Is that a... Yeah, Bonnie and Cow combo. That's nice. It's combo 247. Oh, hands trap. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Something light. Anyone that's got hands trap in their deck gets my respect. What a great card. Okay, so let's see how strong we can get these pirates. I'm not too worried if we lose this round, but we're only 46 behind because these pirates just get stronger and stronger, as you can see. And if we can get them in a good order, and they're not too bad at the moment. Like I said, I do still need to read them. Uh, Thomas, your plundering pirate. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, nice 22 from that one. Uh, yeah, 462. Great score. Oh, Stradivarius. Nice hit. Oh, the Brothers Grin. That's a really, really nice deck you got there. Something light. I do like it. But we are 80 in the lead. We've won the first round. 
Let's see if we can finish him off. Oh, okay. What? Remind me what? Oh, that gives 18 buffs, isn't it? I was just trying to remember what that riding the wave card do does. Uh, Pierre? Yeah, could be good. Once one. Look how small that writing is. Bridge of my eyes. Uh, excellent. And Henry Morgan. 446 again. That is good. And the buff of 18, 500 exactly. Nice score. Oh, we are 2 0 up. These pirates are doing really well. Really good. Really good deck, this one. Great mythic deck. It's quite expensive to put together, this deck, but they're not too difficult to trade for, I think. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five limited legendaries and one mythic. So it's not crazy expensive. Oh, and six. With Zendi at the bottom there. Okay, let's concentrate. We are running out of energy though. Three, nine, seven. Oh, nice hit there from hell. Oh, an apple tree man. Great score. Five, six, three. Well played, something light. That was impressive. That was a really good. Okay, one, six, six behind. Let's see what we can do. So we can get Flying Dutch out. We are behind. We've got 15. I think we can get three cars out. One, two, four. Uh, we'll go with Grog. Should we just play that Grog card? Um, two cards. This is hard. Ten energy. Not much I could do there. I didn't want to waste Flying Dutch because there's not enough pirates and I couldn't get three cards out. Believe it or not. Well played, something light. Okay, he's not making light work of this, I can tell you. He's got a really good hand here. So let's have a quick look. Okay, 16 energy, 345. We're not going to win. So Zengdi, buff up these cards. Flying Dutch is going to be a bit of a waste, though, isn't it? Um, oh, what do I do? Let's do it. 202. That buff on the Flying Dutchman. Is it this turn? Oh, it is this turn. Oh, I thought it was until played. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. So at least we're going to get the buff from Zengdi. So we are now 2-1 up. 2-1 uh, up, not 2-1 down. And our pirates now should be fairly cheap to play. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. We've managed to get our energy cost right down. So Saida... Blackbeard, oh that's nice, the extra 100, 1 for 101, and Anne and Jack, Jolly Roger 3 for 100, oh look at that, 490, and that energy cost, absolutely incredible, 9, 12, it cost us in energy there, great score, okay we're back in front again, and a nice buff there, 26 from Samuel, now we've got some big strong cards, I think we should be able to see him off here, Energy is now no longer a problem. Calicio and Anne, we want, don't we? Saida, uh, Thomas, 194, and Grace. Let's just go big. 175, 604, that is a nice score. I was thinking of playing Calicio and Anne there, but I think we got a bigger score this way. 604, just want to finish off this game. Come on. Nicely, 230. Well played, Pirates. Ahoy, my hearties. Okay, look at that. 30050. Excellent. No problems with energy now. We've got 13 per turn at the moment. That's good. Edward Low, 485. And oh, let's just go with 695. And the 230. Oh, hell and apple tree man. That's a great hit. And Ouroboros. Oh, 674. Oh, something like that. that was a great attempt there at the end. But we just had to. And I think if the game had gone a little bit further, then we would have had no problems. Anyhow, that is our Mythic Flying Dutchman deck. I hope you like it. Absolutely great fun. Not too difficult to put together. Do give it a whirl. Uh, it works in pretty much high and low energy weeks, so you'll have a lot of fun with that one. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. Enjoy Q, enjoy the new Mythic cards, and we will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.